Welcome back, everybody. Today, I am going to be showing you Leopold, the account buying herald that was on my team, showing you the experience that it's like to have such a wonderful person in the community on your team. Let's check it out. Banana slam giant. So we know going into the draft that Leopold, he's putting his team at a bit of a disadvantage. One, his pick is predictable. He's going to go for the Undying. Two, he's just lower MMR than he's supposed to be in these games. So let's find out exactly what he's going to do to mitigate this. This is my recording of my previous stream. What can he do to make up for the MMR discrepancy? If you say Dro, you're actually a piece of shit. I hate you. Okay, side sidebar there. Okay, what's he do Drow during Ranger. the strategy phase? Okay, he marks the off lane. We see that in the Drow bottom Ranger. right corner here. We are clarifying that Drow literally pronounces her name Drow. Okay, somebody else has also marked off lane. There may be some conflicts. What is he? Okay, he first picks the Undying. Authoritative. D this didn't really communicate it, but now we've got How two off laners. How often do you have somebody that literally tells you what her name is? Okay. And then you still call her wrong. Dude, BSJ, can you shut up? I'm trying to watch the game. Looks like I have people fighting over their roles. I don't think I've realized yet that he's on my team. I think this might be the first time in history I pick Troll Warlord. Okay, Io's talking to him. It's too good against these two heroes. Troll is it's good with Undying 5. Okay, so Wisp has started the discussion. Wisp has started the discussion. Oh, he's no longer Wisp. Io got banned. Okay. Um, I was picking Troll without the Io in mind. The Io was 4. Nobody actually cares about your opinion, person. I'm Okay, we have the 10th pick Meepo mm -hmm. into Ember. Last pick. So Meepo there's a lot of Ember strategy now. going on here. We have the cheese pick. Is that good? I'm not sure. The the story is being set up. How like will it unfold? Roles, so That's the question. Is. We saw that Quakefoot clearly I'll couldn't buy, carry uh, Leopold. Tangas if my team doesn't So let's come see bottom. what I can do here. Quakefoot clearly wasn't good enough. Oh my god, there's actually Mason on the enemy team. I forgot about that. Yeah, Mason. That really stacks the deck against us. I'm not sure that that's Why something that we can overcome. Because they're 100% physical damage and they're 100% right clicks. And uh, Troll has high armor in this spell. And who's this smartass talking? I just want to see the game. So we have a nice little stage getting set here. It's really good. We do need to see what happens, though, because the lanes haven't really been decided. We don't, I don't know who my five position is. Is it going to be Leopold? Uh, Will I be laning doing. with them? Yeah, I'm trying to find out here. Okay. Okay, anybody translate? Oh, bye. Can we translate this? My current chat. Can anybody translate that for us? He said BSJ is a good player. Okay. I believe you. I'll buy a regen because I don't trust my teammates here. I don't know what's going on really. I have no reason not to trust these guys. Seems like they're fighting over top or something. I, I actually have no idea. Wait, what was that? Seems like they're fighting over top or something. I, I actually have no idea. I think he also said that he really wants to lane top because Rubik is his best friend. Legion should go five. I believe that's what he just said. I'm going to go ahead and mute myself for this game. Wish me luck. Okay, so clearly BSJ at the time didn't appreciate exactly what he was getting himself into. So shame on you, past BSJ. All we can really do since he's muted Leopold like an ass and he's muted himself, we now have to load into the actual replay. That's the best thing to do. So, you know, BSJ is playing the safe lane troll warlord. We've got the undying. Leopold, your guys' favorite account buyer. The issue I have with his current starting items is that he is against a ranged carry, and he's elected to forego 
the standard windlace that he usually starts the game with. In the past, we've seen the windlace orb of venom plus the mango. I don't think he's going to be able to get much value out of this orb of venom if he's not able to catch up to the sniper, who's going to be pretty far away being a sniper and all. And making sure he's ready to help either teammate. Head on a swivel, walking back and forth. Gets the rune. Good. But they got the rune stolen from behind them. Damn. Not the best start for Radiant. 3-1 to one on the bounty runes. Let's pull up the CS. Okay, what does he do to start the lane off? This is Mason, keep in mind. Mason's probably going to have some high-level strats. He runs at the sniper, zoning him away from the range creep. That was actually really good. He's going to tangle up instantly. Good harass, though, coming out from, from the five-position Ricky. Now, in case any of you were wondering if four-position Undying outtrades five-position Ricky, this is the replay for you. It appears to be relatively even, but the, the, the strength soak isn't that great against Ricky because Ricky has really high you just achieved first blood. HP regen. And he also obviously doesn't care about actually losing the armor, or losing the uh, health, excuse me, because he, he's, he's an agi hero. He doesn't lose any damage. So let's see, what are the strats? Mason, he, he wanted to give a chance. You know, Leopold forced Mason out of position, denying the range creep like that. Legion got level 2 before Mason because of that, and thus Mason was unprepared and also willingly giving up the lead to start the game. Now, Ricky, he has a rushed ring of health. So there are some advanced strategies going on in this game so far. Mason probably having a tough time keeping up with exactly the mind games occurring here. As being in the immortal bracket, we are unfamiliar with some of these strats. The five position Ricky missing a wing lace on the four position Undying. Okay, trading going on on the side. Legion looks ready to help him. Okay, he manually clicked the level of spell. I don't like that. Okay, he's got the soul rip. Feels like they could probably pretty easily kill the tombstone. Sniper just got decent attack speed and attacks from pretty far. Flying out the mangoes. He's definitely running low on the regen. Already sitting at 200 mana. Soul rip's pretty expensive. Resetting mentally. Gotta, gotta take a break sometimes, guys. Gotta take a break sometimes. Does manage to let the rookie pull the small camp, though, which is not ideal. That allows Ricky to get a little bit of bonus experience. Zones while the Legion Commander pulls the hard camp. Is he going to soar up this big creep? Soar up the big creep. He soar up himself. Understandable. He actually walked into the range of a bunch of units so that he could get the max value out of the soul. Zoning Tombstone. Zoning Tombstone. Time out, time out, time out. Zoning Tombstone. This Legion absolutely uncontested on this creep. Look at this. Uncontest oh, Leopold actually takes the last hit, but then Legion, absolutely uncontested. Dude, he was uncontested on the creep, and he missed it. Who's the actual Herald here? I don't... I okay, Leopold, he has eaten the mangoes. He's feeling fruity. I believe his total mango count was five there that he bought afterwards. Could have denied the tombstone, but wasn't quite on point there. Did feed 125 gold to a five position Ricky. That actually seems relatively costly. Not preventing the small camp. This is a big no no. The Ricky's gone missing, and you're just not checking the small camp. So now the sniper is going to be allowed to farm underneath the tower. We are looking for the teepee. We have the setup because usually when we see Leopold, he does the mango teepee. But right now, he's only got 85 mana, so he's not able to do the mango TP. We've got to keep in mind that he might be setting up the TP play here. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. We're back. We're back. We're fine. We were thinking he wasn't going to be able to do the mango TP, but he's got the resources. Okay. Good soul rip to heal himself. Okay. Good soul rip to heal himself. Okay. He's got the tombstone online again. Is he going to look to turn? The sniper's half HP. Ricky's not buying him any regen. Ricky's rushing a meteor hammer. Okay. 
Mason's sitting pretty low right now. He's vulnerable. Leopold going in. Pops the tombstone down. Legion. Where is the follow-up? Dude, Legion. Let's check out his positioning. How does he not see this coming? Where's your health regen, Legion? Why aren't you prepared to fight? The sniper is vulnerable. Position aggressively. Leopold even soul ripped you. Okay, he's setting up. You see it coming. You see it coming, dude. You see... What? Was it the fact that he's less than half HP or that there are six enemy creeps and only one ally creep? Which one of these things made him not understand this? I feel like that was just a clear go. Clear fucking go. Man, okay. Okay, Marana's here. I believe that's a four position Marana. So now the lane's getting even tougher. Five position Ricky. What, what's the timing on the Meteor Hammer here? He is going to pull again. Only 300 gold off of a Meteor Hammer. Okay, Leopold's back. Has a Sentry. Gonna protect his hard camp. Make sure that it's available. Going to block the small camp. He's had enough. This video is brought to you guys by NordVPN. Right now, they're running an insane deal for two years plus one month free for 70% off. Why might you need NordVPN, you may ask? Well, just like our Herald account buying friend here, you may be doing some stuff on the internet that you don't want others to know about. And that's what NordVPN offers you. It offers you the ability to browse with criminal protection and surveillance. It offers security on all of your devices. And it'll offer you access to websites and services that may not be available in your country. Get NordVPN for yourselves today. And if you guys missed it, don't forget the link is in the description and it's right on your screen right here. Just click there for the two years plus one month free 70% off. Get it while it's hot. Of this small camp pull. This is on the fly adjustments, my friend. Does ward in front of a creep wave. Does manage to drag the creep wave into an arrow. Legion Commander feeding. Nothing you can do about that, though. Okay. I had to ask him about the skill build. I feel like decays a value one point here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So bot top lane seems kind of eh. We have flamed Leopold a bit in the past because he keeps going back to a lost lane. So let's take a moment to appreciate this nice moment where his damage count is 69. He's got the little John build going here. He's got three armor, 69 damage. The 369, damn girl, fine. Let's see. Does he learn from past mistakes? Will he return to a lost lane? Let's find out. He will. Okay. He's ready. Gotta get that XP under tower, actually. Legion was throwing that away for free. Okay, that's actually understandable. That's different. Sentries to make sure he's not getting scouted out. The five position Ricky may or may not have a meteor hammer. He does indeed have a eight minute meteor hammer. A dying it's Leopold with the zoning tombstone, preventing his tower from taking any further damage. We'll be looking to chase Dame Carino down here. Spamming the decay. 16 strength buildup. Mango just in case. But he manages to get the TP away. And... And... The penis made by a dot L dot. Okay. okay, he's had enough of this lane. The penis has made him go help his fellow man BSJ. Now let's go to my perspective. I have a Undying here to help me. I'm against Slardar 1v1. Not the most ideal. Let's make sure that Leopold helps me farm the small camp. That's very good. We can go back to his perspective. The Harass, that's four damage taken away from the Slardar, allowing me to freely farm this creep wave. I probably would have had to go jungle otherwise. Even made the Slardar corrosive haste him instead of me. Quite the dream. Making sure he protects me. Tipping the 10th pick Meepo. We do have to check in really quickly because this Meepo did 10th pick and he did see his matchup. He did see that he was against a Ember mid. How's this going for him? The Ember is winning by 1800 net worth. Meepo's level 7 and Ember's level 9.5. Is this even Leopold's fault? I feel like 
It isn't. I feel like, is it the Legion that didn't know when to go? Is it the Rubik five position griefing? Is it the mid 10th pick Meepo losing by two and a half levels? I, I don't think this is clearly Leopold. He is trying to play around the one core, having a good game. My lane did go pretty well this game, so we understand. He's scouting out. He, he doesn't have any wards left, so he's being a lane ward. Okay. I don't like his positioning for scouting out here. We did see the... Oh! He shows me the arrow, so I'm able to easily dodge it. And he makes sure they focus the tombstone instead of me. That is just purely a space tombstone. He knew. Check this out. Check this out. The one problem with a space-making tombstone is that it destroys the trees. And if you destroy the trees, it may give the opponent the vision they need to stun me. But look at this. He places it flawlessly. All of the trees get pulled down except for the tree that is blocking me. He cannot see me over here. He cannot see me right here. This is immaculately placed tombstone. Immaculate. Okay, let's go ahead and see what he does with the tombstone. He's, he heals it up. Okay. Does manage to buy a little bit of extra time. Does he fort? No. He's soaking XP under tower, though. Oh, he gets scouted out. Dude, Mason. Mason's on another level. He saw that Leopold TP'd here and didn't have a TP. He's just on another level. The, 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 the awareness from Mason there. Okay, level 7, 10th pick Meepo. What's Leopold's reaction here? What's he going to do with this? Did he just manually click his TP? Goes top to help me again. But I am going to be forced to back off. Now, Rubik as well as... This noob troll warlord player in the BSJ clan have elected to give up. Soft. Honestly, just soft. It's not even. It's soft. Meepo's recovering. Undying. Ready to TP top and put on some pressure. Trade some towers. And now Leopold is sending a message. Making sure that we... You know, I told people in my coaching sessions. That when you're losing, the best thing to do is to secure an area. Place a sentry to make sure you de-ward. Place a ward to get yourself full vision of the area. And be ready to defend it. And he is not only doing just that, but he is also preemptively defending the tombstone. So, yet another lesson from our lovely Herald player here. Teaching the immortal players one thing at a time. I apologize for my past self's transgressions and weak mentality. Thanks for watching, guys. Looks like my first run-in with Leopold on my team was not necessarily what we all dreamt it to be. Maybe it is, actually. Maybe we got some good, um, good memories going. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. 